15 minutes after 7 o'clock right now. Welcome back to Carolina in the morning on Fox Wilmington. Blizzard 2015. I'm watching the coverage right now. I just, I'm just amazed that, as Patrick said, we were just on the outskirts of it. And I, I think Ryan PC Trimble has prepared himself for Blizzard 2015. Ryan, good morning I, to you. Good morning to you guys. I have Kim noticed that I'm wearing, I'm wearing double pants today is what's <laughs> happening because it's cold out. And I weigh 10 pounds. That's your, your new rap name is Two Pants. <laughs> Two Pants Trimble, that's what they call me. <laughs> I didn't know that 39 was cold. Everything is cold when you're this. <laughs> well, our first story this morning, this may be the only time in history that I'm thankful to not rely on public transit to get anywhere because in New York City, as of 11 last night, the Metropolitan Transit Authority and the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey shut down all mass transit. This was Penn Station last night. This morning, it's a ghost town. The subway, the Long Island Railroad, Metro North, New Jersey Transit, none of it's running. Now, according to the MTA, this is actually the first time the entire subway system, as well as bridges and tunnels, will shut down because of a winter storm. Now, beyond that, no non-essential vehicles are allowed in the streets today. So that means no buses are running either. Also, like every flight in and out is canceled, so stay warm, folks, he said to his family watching from Long Island. Please be safe, guys. The subway wasn't the only thing not running this morning. Facebook crashed shortly after midnight, which meant I actually had to work, Ugh. as well as Instagram. Some reported getting a message that said, sorry, something went wrong, while others simply couldn't access it. Now, the outage affected a large portion of the United States, as well as parts of Australia and New Zealand. Both sites were mercifully up and running about an hour later. There was a hashtag on Twitter called what I did while, what I did while Facebook was down. And it was wonderful because people couldn't figure out what to do if they couldn't get on <laughs> Facebook. Finally, an actress transitions from one bookworm to another. Emma Watson announcing here on Facebook yesterday morning that she'll be playing Belle in a new live-action version of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. The actress, of course, known for playing Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films, uh, said she uh, felt the whole experience was extremely surreal because the movie was such a big part of her childhood. Now, this is exciting because Belle is basically Hermione who sings. Uh, the movie will start production later this year. Now, all that's left for me is to figure out where I need to send my audition tape for the role of Lumiere. If anyone knows, please let me know. And that's a look at what's trending this morning. Now for a look at the weather. Let's go over to Patrick Ellis. What's up, PC? Not much, dude. What's up? All right. Well, let's it's take a two look. Two pants. <laughs> two pants tremble. You got to get it right. Two pants. All right. Here's a look at satellite.